Have you ever thought about what is happening in the ground under your feet? Below the surface of the land, there's soil and water and rocks and millions of microorganisms. When scientists investigate what happens underground, they try to figure out what takes place deep below the surface. One important tool for exploring underground is scientific drilling, a technique that gives a glimpse of what lies far below the surface. Scientists call this region below the surface the deep critical zone. It's an important part of the critical zone, the layer on Earth where life occurs. The critical zone extends from the tops of the trees down through the soil and rocks until it hits solid rock called bedrock. Scientists use the metric system to measure distance, so when they talk about the deep critical zone, they say that it extends tens of meters below the surface, which is often over a hundred feet down. It's the region where rock fragments and degrades to transform into soil. Scientists still don't know that much about what happens in the deep critical zone. It's still a mystery, so they have lots of questions about it, questions that they're working to answer. They've recently realized, for example, that the deep critical zone is teeming with microorganisms. Life can survive far underground as long as it has water. But how do researchers figure out what is happening deep underground? It's not an easy place to see. Scientists from the U of A's Catalina Jemez Critical Zone Observatory have turned to a special drilling technique to explore underground. They use a drill that's a pipe, a hollow tube that pulls out whatever material it cuts through. The tube keeps the layers of soil and rock intact so that scientists can study it. The soil and rock that comes out of the drill pipe is called the core, and the cores from the drill provide a map of the layers underground, a map of the deep critical zone. In the Jemez Mountains in northern New Mexico, the Critical Zone team from the University of Arizona drilled deep down into the earth to better understand the deep critical zone and how the layers of soil and rock influence the water cycle and landscape. This scientific drilling technique will start to answer many of the questions we have about the deep critical zone, and it's already revealed some surprising discoveries.